And hello again everybody out there, Mark Mannering from Class Training, just another weekly three tips in three minutes. And uh, following on from our recent theme of using Outlook uh, much better, we're gonna focus on quick parts today. And anybody who's been along to our training would know we focus on this in our uh, courses. So quick parts in Outlook are like little mini templates, little snippets of text or graphics or links or whatever it might be that you might use on an ongoing basis. So for common emails you might send out. So let's create a, a new quick part. So what I've got here in the blink of an eye is just a bit of standard text. I could have typed this up from scratch or got this from a, um, a, another sent or previously sent email. So to create a quick part from this uh, standard bit of text, I just highlight uh, manually uh, the text I want to include in the quick part. I go up to the insert tab here, already there, and we go to quick parts and save selection to the gallery, the quick part gallery. Uh, bringing that up. And it's asking me now for a shortcut name. So I'll just put in something like uh, Course Inquiry. Uh, you can't put spaces into the name and I'll put little uh, capital letters there just to make it easier to read. And I click OK. Now that's been saved as a quick part. So I'll just escape out of this and cancel it and go back into a brand new email. So there's a brand new email. So when I go to uh, insert that snippet, all I've got to do is click anywhere in the body of the email. I go Insert over the quick parts and there it is listed for me and I'll click on that and away we go. And I'll just cut and paste all of that into here. It makes it easier to remember what the subject is and I've got a standard subject for these types of emails going out. And now the other way to actually activate or use your quick part is if you know the abbreviated name, you can just type that in to a new uh, email and when I've got the abbreviated uh, name there, I'll just press the F3 key on the keyboard and that brings that up. And then the last point on all this is if you wanted to manage those quick parts or delete them if you didn't want them anymore, we just go to the insert tab here, quick parts, and we go to any insert that we might have here, we right click and come down to organize and delete, and then we can go from there to rename these, delete them and so on. And the last tip we've got here on this is uh, to make it even easier to access and create quick parts. Instead of going to the insert tab, I've already got a shortcut here on the quick access toolbar, so it doesn't matter what tab I'm on, I can just go to any new email, bring up the quick parts here on the quick access toolbar and it's uh, much easier to get to. Okay, and we cover a lot more um, on this in our uh, Outlook training courses, so keep an eye on the website for that. Uh, Mark Mannering signing off, we'll see you again soon and uh, thanks again, bye.